Hi all. In this video, let's discuss about lifting the state up in React JS. So also this is one of the interview question as well. So let's discuss about this. In React JS, every component has its own state. Here, if you see, the counter component can have its own state, increment component can has its own state, and counter display component has its own state. But here, what is this lifting up the state? Means for example, counter is a parent. Okay, and let's take this counter as a parent and increment is its children and also the counter display as well, also its children. So this display component needs some data to display what is the counter value. Okay, and this increment component has that information. So this increment component has that information which it needs to pass to the counter display. So here you no need to use the React sharing of the states like a Redux state management library or a Re React context API instead of those things. So just if you uplift the state, so if you lift the state of this increment to one level, okay, if you lift the state of this increment to one level and through this counter component as a parent, it can pass this state to its children as a prop. So this is nothing but the lifting the state up by one level. So if you want to share some data, okay, you can you can move your state to the closest ancestor. Okay, there from that, this parent can share that data to its child through the props. So this is known as lifting the state up in ReactJS. So let's see the difference here as well. If the counter is the parent component, increment is the one, like it has a plus button or a button where if you click that, the counter value will be incremented. Whereas the display, what is the counter value now that can be displayed at this component? So let's see that with an example. So let me take this code box. So here I have defined a simple uh, counter increment component with a button, counter display component with the H2. And now these two are the children component of the counter component. So that's the reason I made them into this here. Fine, now what this increment component needs to do? It needs to uplift the state to its parent component. Fine, to do that, so it means it needs to maintain its state in its parent. So that's the reason. Let's have a state here. So I'm maintaining a state here where it is a count set count. Okay. Now we have the count and set count. And let me use this u state and let me give the default value as a zero. Okay. Now the count has a default value of as a zero. Fine. Now I want to do, and whenever you click this button, if you click this button, you want to increment this counter value. Then what you need to do? Okay. First thing is, let me write an event handler here. So whenever you click the button, what you need to do, you need to handle some event. So that event, you this component will be getting as a prop. So let's send one of the prop, okay? Like, let me say this as increment on click. So this is a prop name, okay? This is a property we are sending. So this property will be catched in this component. Okay, and when you click this button, okay, let's just do call this property. That's it. It means in this component, if you click this button, what happens? It is going to pass this event to its parent. This component is not going to handle the event. It is passing the event to its parent. So it means the parent needs to handle that event. So let's write how it is going to handle the event. Increment counter. So in the parent component, I am writing a component where it is going to handle the event of its children. So increment counter equal to, so let me write this in an arrow function. So where I want to increment the counter. So just I will increment the counter with the previous value which it has and with the previous value plus one. So I just want to increment it with one. Okay, so this is what the event handling. So in this component, if you click this button, now what happens in this button, this component is not going to handle this event. With the help of this prop, it is passing this event to its parent. And in the parent component, you have defined that. And whenever you click this button, it comes into this increment counter method and it will increment the counter value. Fine. Now in this way, the, this increment component is passing its state to its parent component. Thereafter, what this counter component needs to do, it needs to update this count value. This count value should be sent as a prop to its another children counter display. So that we can do like this. So now it will be sending the count of count. So now what happens? 
the updated count value it is going to send as a count here so now that count value will be can be accepted here as a property so instead of props dot account i'm directly destructuring that object and i'm directly using here as also count so now this also it will display the count so it can directly use a count like this so this is what it happens so let's see the output once let me save this once yeah so now if i increment this this component is the children component and this is the another children so both are the different children now what we are doing if you click this button okay if you click this button in this component you are triggering the event in the parent component it comes to here and the control goes to the increment counter and it is going to increment the counter like this by one so thereafter what happens again it is passing this count because in this counter display it needs to show the latest count right so that's the reason it is passing the count as its props to its children so this is how this component the increment component want to share its data to its sibling okay how it is doing it is lifting the state up by one level okay where it has a common ancestor called counter so that's the reason it is going to lift its state up by one level okay and here it is going to handle its state changes thereafter as a props it is passing this count value to its another children like this it is going to pass the data it is sharing the state between the increment counter increment and counter de decrement so now you are incrementing so this is doing some increment that increment is happening in this function and that is sending as a count and this count property you are displaying here so this is all about lifting the state up in reactjs most of the cases it may be asked in the interview questions as well so just explain this simple example that's enough okay hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos